Hello everybody, how are we doing? Thank you very much for looking at this video. My name is Angus and my little business is called Nature Northwest and today I am going to be talking to you all about these amazing fellas here, crows. This is just one of them. We have, well officially we've got eight different types of crows in Ireland. But a seven really that we have, seven that are reasonably common and that you can find reasonably easily. So we're going to talk about those seven crows. This video is only a few minutes. It's packed full of facts. It's got some pictures in it too of the different types of crows. Right? And you can take down as many different facts as you want or you can pick just one crow and do a little project on it. But this guy here is a hooded crow hooded crow or sometimes called a grey crow and it's a medium sized crow. There are crows that are bigger and there are crows that are smaller but it gives you a good idea of the size of it compared to my head. It's quite a big bird and all crows have big strong beaks, really strong beaks because all crows can eat nearly everything. They can eat nuts and they can eat seeds and they can eat worms. A lot of crows will rip up a bit of meat or rip up some rubbish. So crows can eat lots and lots of different things and they're very smart, they're very clever. They love to look around for all sorts of different food. They're also very curious birds, crows. I love them. Crows are cool. Okay, I'm going to share a few slides here and start looking at some of the different species that we have in Ireland. So Nature Northwest, that's me. Now, first slide that we have, the amazing world of crows. Check that out. We normally think of crows as dark, it's kind of black, whereas this is one of our really colourful crows. In fact, it's our most colourful crow, called the jay. We have seven different types. So I will start down here with some general facts about crows. So first of all, they're some of the smartest of all the birds. They can figure out loads of different problems. Scientists are studying crows all over the world. They're trying to figure out how clever are they? And they set up more difficult tasks each time. And each time the crows are able to find where the food is. Also, an amazing thing about crows. Crows, humans, and uh, chimpanzees are about the only creatures that help their friends, even if they don't get help back themselves. So humans, chimpanzees, and crows are the only creatures they will help their friends, even with no reward, which is kind of an amazing thing. Most things in the animal kingdom do not do that. They also are really important for us because they tidy up a huge amount of our rubbish. And hopefully you're not, and I certainly try not to be, but some humans are really messy. Some people even dump rubbish around the place. But crows, they love to tidy up that rubbish for us. And if there's rubbish or if something dies high up in the mountains, crows will often gobble that up. Now that sounds strange to us, but it's a really important thing because they're like the tidier uppers just for us. We need crows. And the Latin name for crows, because scientists love to give animals and plants Latin names, the Latin name for all the different types of crows, the big group of birds called crows, is corvid. Corvid. So sometimes you might come across that word corvid, and it just means crows. That's all it means. Now, the first, one of my very favourite of all the crows, the cheeky little chappy. Lots of people don't like the magpie. I do. I think magpies are cool. And they're very beautiful. Look at the green that's on the feathers of the magpie and look at the blue that's on the wings. Lovely, lovely birds, big long tails. You can tell the young ones in summertime or in autumn time because their tails are really stumpy. So they look just like this guy, but with a stumpy, tiny little tail. So next summer or next autumn, if you see a magpie with a stumpy tail, you know it's just born. It's just this year's magpies. And you'll often see them flying by because those little white wings will give them away as they zoom along quickly. Now, some people say they like to collect really shiny objects. That doesn't really happen so much. However, some people that feed crows in their gardens have been brought presents by the crows. That's how smart they are. They realise that people are leaving food for them. And the presents could be anything that they collect, anything that they find. It might be just a stick, it might be a pebble, or it might be little bits of plastic. It won't be the kind of presents that we normally look for for our birthdays. But still, magpies, I like them. They bring people presents. And they are excellent mums and dads. They build a roof on their nest. They have a nest that's about the size of a basketball. 
made full of sticks uh, or lots and lots of sticks and some moss in the middle and so it's nice and cozy so if it rains the chicks stay dry most birds don't have a nest or don't have a roof on their nest um, whereas the magpie does magpie number one of our crows pretty cool another crow same one that i showed you in the picture here you might be able to see it in the little picture beside me this is the hooded crow sometimes called the gray crow or gray back these guys are tough they live high up in the mountains and they live in the bogs and they live in the places where it looks like there's really not very much food at all and they don't like to hang around in big crowds they'll usually be just mammy crow and daddy crow and sometimes they're young as well very tough always watching always look out uh, and if you were a magpie or a smaller bird and you saw one of these guys coming you'd say oh hide because these guys they quite often like to raid their nests super tough super uh, super crows now this is probably the most common of our crows it's about the same size as the gray crow but this guy is called a rook and the rook is also pretty tough the rook is really curious but they're an, unlike the gray crow they love to hang around in huge crowds sometimes you'll see flocks of hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of rooks I live in a little town in North Donegal and there are hundreds and hundreds of rooks that all sleep in the same big bunch of trees and when they all sleep together and they have their nests together that's called a rookery and at night time or in the evening time just as it's getting very dark they'll fly over the town again and again and again calling out to each other with this deep sound and scientists think that's them swapping stories from the day and they're saying be careful of the field over there it's really dangerous or we'll look out for the field over there it's full of worms and bugs delicious so they're telling each other where's good and where's bad and what happened that day all black kind of a shiny black it's like they have a little forehead so their beak sticking out but they have this steep little forehead bit here that's how you know the rook they are an amazing little bird okay next crow Next crow is the jackdaw. Let me play the sound of the jackdaw. I bet you've heard this sound. Hopefully you can hear that sound. Their sound can even sound a little bit like their name. Sometimes they go, ah, ah, jackdaw, jackdaw, jackdaw. They make that funny little sound. You'll sometimes see them with the last guy, the rook, the one that's all black. They hang around in big flocks, big groups together as well, but they're smaller. They move really quickly. They're probably the cheekiest of the crows. They're the ones that will come up and try and grab the bit of food first in your garden, or maybe from your chicken shed, or maybe the bit of rubbish that fell out in the town or in the city. They'll be the first to try and get the sandwich from the wrapper that fell on the ground. They have a lovely bright white eye, and then from kind of the middle of their head down to just past their neck, they're light grey. That's how you tell the jackdaw. And they're a bit smaller. Kind of like a magpie size with no long tail. If that makes sense. Cool little crows. I like these guys. Jackdaws. Cheeky chappies. Now this guy. The king and queen of all the crows. The biggest and the toughest. The ravens. They have huge big long wings. Their wings when they spread them out are about a meter or a little more than a meter long. They are really, really big. And they're bigger than the gray crow that I have here. They'd be considerably bigger. They're a big, heavy, strong bird. And look at that beak. They have feathers coming right down the beak. And that's a clue as to where they like to live. Because ravens, now ravens sometimes live in the cities and towns, quite often live around farmland. They'll nest high up in trees, but really where they love to live is in mountains. And ravens will fly over the top of the, of the biggest mountains that there is. Now there's a huge big mountain in Donegal called Errigal Mountain. It's the biggest of all the mountains. And if you've ever been lucky enough to climb all the way up to the top of Errigal Mountain, what an amazing view up there. The only thing that you'll probably see above you is a raven. You'll often see ravens flying right over, even over the top of Errigal. And they're watching out for things to eat. They're watching out to see if maybe a deer died high up in the mountains or a badger or some other wild creature and they'll gobble it all up 
They're kind of a little bit like Irish vultures, really. We don't have normal vultures in this country, but they do a lot of tidying up for us. Super tough and make a great sound. Also, really curious. If one of these flies above your head, you'll often hear the wings as they fly along, big and heavy and strong. But check out this sound. Ah, ravens make this huge, big, deep sound, which you can make yourself. Give it a go. You've got to hold your throat just nice and gently because the sound needs to come from your throat. And it goes like this. Ah, ah, ah. You give that a go. Try it three times. Ah, ah, ah. And if you call out like that to a raven, they will nearly always turn their head. And they'll look down and they'll go, whoa, check it out. And they'll say, ah, ah, to their friends. They'll say, look at that human. They think they're a pro. And they'll give you a little nod and keep flying. Amazing birds, really cool, really tough, and able to survive in such cold places. Now, our most colourful crow. I mentioned this guy at the very beginning. This guy is called the jay. And let me play the sound of the jay, because the jay loves to hide. The jay is much shyer, unlike a lot of the rest of the crows. They live in the, in the forests, in the woodlands. That's what they like, especially native woodlands. And native woodlands in Ireland are the woodlands which have the deciduous trees. Deciduous trees are the ones where the leaves fall off. So oak trees and ash trees and places like that, that's where they like to live. And they will gobble up a lot of the acorns. Check out this, have a look at the little screen I'm in and have a look at the little tiny acorn that's there. They will get these acorns and they will stash over 3,000 acorns all around the forest and the fields and their area. Have you ever stashed a bit of Easter egg so that nobody else will find it and gobble it up on you? Well, that's what these guys are doing. They stash all of those acorns in loads of different places very carefully. And then, if it's a nice winter, they won't need them. They're stashing it for their food for the winter. And But they mightn't need them, so they might forget about them. Or they might just lose them and not know where some of them are. And the ones that they forget, if you bury a little acorn in a bit of mud and you forget about it, it's going to grow into an oak tree. So that is how oak forests spread around. We wouldn't have oak forests if it wasn't for the jay. Really important bird. Quite often you won't see them, but quite often you will hear them. Check out this sound. Really loud, funny, screechy squawk. If you hear this screech coming from the forest, you think, whoa, what was that? <laughs> That is the forest planter. That's the oak tree planter, the acorn collector. We need those guys, because without them, we wouldn't have our forests. And then where would we be? And this amazing little crow here called the chuff. Now, the chuff is something that not many people get to see. You have to go to the west of Ireland or the northwest or southwest and walk along the cliffs. If you go, there's an amazing place called Melmore Head in North Donegal. And if you walk along the cliffs in Melmore Head, you will often hear and see the chuff. And they are incredible flyers. Now, all crows are incredible flyers. All crows love to dive and swim around the place up in the air as if they are as free as free and they're having just fun and playing. These guys, they'll dive down much faster. It often looks like they're going to crash, but they don't, they never do. The last second they turn and spin. They're amazing little birds. And they have a pretty cool call as well. Check out this call, I'm gonna play it for you now. We <coughs> all. Listen out for that sound next time you're walking down by the coast, especially in a place that's quite wild, that has some cliffs. That's where the chuff likes to be. Beautiful birds and another one of our crows. So that is our seven most common species of, of crow. There is another type that very occasionally comes into the southeast of Ireland, but we don't really see it. So they are the seven crows, but you can see those seven crows all over the place, apart from that chuff maybe on the, on the the cliffs, the rest of them are everywhere. So watch out, have a look out for crows. And next time you're out walking, see how many different species you can spot and see if you can tell the difference between 
the big strong rook, the even bigger raven, or the smaller cheeky little jackdaw. Have a listen out for them, have a look out for them, and don't forget to call out for them because they'll nearly always call back. Thanks folks. <laughs>